So that's a, that's a long blurb. All right, I'm gonna skip the first drive apparently. And it was worth it, we got a touchdown. Defense gets a stop, let's, let's hop in. Yeah, <laughs> brother Jay. I know it's brothy Jay, but Oh, throw me a block. Nice run. This is like Panda's dream. Fifty percent of pandas is the one comments are. What are your thoughts on insert prospect here? Uh, I just want to get rid of it. Do I hold safeties with my eyes, dude? If if you could in in this video game, I would. That'd be like if I was a quarterback. That'd be my my thing. I'd be playing with safeties constantly. Ooh, good run. Good run. If you were a QB, you'd be Joe Webb. So you'd be dope is what you're saying. Remember when Joe Webb started a playoff game for the Vikings? That was so bad. Oh, he made a miss. Let's go. There you go, Isaiah Jacobs. All right, Panda, but we're in a game. We still got more advances ahead of us. We got to get through the offseason. We are marching right down the field. Andy, is that you? Or is that a different Ravens fan? Oh, he missed him. Did you change the amount of numbers after your name, Andy? I don't remember you having five numbers after a Ravens fan. But what's up? It's been a while. How you been? Oh, he came down. Get up field. We're going for it. Fourth and two. Oh, it's Danny. See, oh, I'm thinking of... There's a, there's like, t I swear, there's two guys that use Ravens. Or I'm Okay, I'm thinking of Ravens rule with a bunch of numbers after it. That's Andy, and he was one of the original subscribers to the channel. Also, tangent, I just got stuffed on fourth down. Danny, who you say you know all these guys in person. You also know me in person. Missed Danny at the Senior Bowl this year, but... Very confusing with you Ravens fans with your usernames looking the same. All right, let's get a stop. Jeez, a 99 yard drive that's, okay, stalled at least. Maybe next year, Danny. Oh God, get out of there. Get rid of it. No! 
This game is wild right now. Dude, I was, that was tuck rule. I was just trying to throw it away. All right, this game's getting hectic. Jeez, what a hit. At least we were able to throw that one away. Oh, let's gosh, really with the drop? Are you kidding me? That was a dime from Leah. Ugh. There we go. There we go, Rakeem Jarrett. This is technically our last drive, but Talia ruined our second drive on the first play by fumbling when I was trying to throw it away, so I might have to throw one more in there if if I need to. The Cowboys get national televised games because they get the most views. Like it or like it or hate it. It's true. It's not just a it's not just a myth that oh I'm going the wrong way. It's not just a myth that they put the Cowboys on primetime because more people watch. It's a real thing. My Cowboys videos always do really well too. Like, everyone kind of knows it. Oh gosh, I got t what a, this game is just weird. I was going to the corner route, it got tipped it, we still converted it. It's a wild, wild game right now. When did I start watching NFL film? I would say I started watching film closely. Oh, broken tackle. Closely in like 2015 is probably when, that's when I like got my Game Pass subscription and really got into it. Stay in bounds. Ugh. Do I think the Saints' shadiness is gonna come to light or keep blowing over? No, I don't. I don't think they're doing it. Oh God, that was just a bad throw, bad decision. I don't think there's anything there from like a get in trouble standpoint, no. Alright, all of a sudden this is not looking too encouraging that we're going to be able to win this game. We technically don't have any rule set on if I can play three or five, so I would prefer not to lose this game. I guess I'll add two drives to the second quarter here, or the second half here. Jeez, come on. We need to stop, though. If we're going to get blown out, it just wasn't meant to be. 
Jesus, come on, defense. Face mask, come on, ref. Do I think Talia could be an NFL QB? I am gonna be honest, I haven't seen him throw a single football before, so. No idea. Jesus, not after that throw. He's off my draft board in real life because of that throw. We are getting smacked right now. If we get a stop, I'll play one more drive. Otherwise... Technically, it's still a three-score game. See ya, Danny. Thanks for stopping by. It's the worst draft take I've heard of this whole season. Man. Um, maybe it was when I first put in my first mock draft in January. And I put, uh, I had Christian Barmore in the first round. I had him going like, I had him going pretty early to be fair. But I had him going in the first round. And someone was saying, geez, oh my God, dude, this coverage is, this team is going off right now. I got nothing to do. I had Barmore in the first round and someone said that I lost all credibility because he was a third or a fourth round, uh, he was gonna be a third or a fourth round pick and I had him in the first round. Jesus, man. I got, we, we, we aren't gonna beat this team. Like we're just getting annihilated. So an eight and five season. We're getting that record one, one win better each year. How do I remember this stuff? Well, I read every comment, so this stuff sticks with me. I'm like Frank Gore. I've got a, a hype track of all my haters. Alright. Well, we just got to get through our season here. I get through the offseason. Read a few more draft blurbs. Chat, if I turn autosave off, will you remind me to turn it on when we get through? Because it'll it'll make these sims go faster. And I'm not going to lose, even if I do screw it up, I'm not going to lose anything. Because our recruiting's already settled, so we're not going to actually lose anything. FIFA says don't do it. <laughs> I think we can handle it guys. We I'm it's going to be 15 minutes of simulating. It'll save us a few minutes. All we have to do is remember to turn it and it it uh it turns back on when you load it back up. So, it'll be fine. I'll remember. If I get any transfers, I'll save right away. That's the only thing that would make this different. Talia breaking all the school records here. Okay, this advance I think takes like half a second. Yeah. We will definitely take a contract extension. See, we're getting better. Four and eight to seven and six to eight and five. 
I don't know if our, our team prestige would go up. Hopefully it would. Players leaving. Uh, I would have had Kinlaw higher as a prospect than Barmore at this point in time. Although, a little plug, I'm going to be doing a, a Christian Barmore film room on Patreon this weekend, which might change, might have to change my eval, because it was a long time ago that I did Christian Barmore's eval. Oh boy. All right, we can... Luckily, per our rules, Sean Kelly, no, one of our patrons. He's leaving to Old Dominion. You were actually going to get playing time, Sean. What are you doing? I am on... I'm going to promise that he will not regret staying. Nice. Deshaun Jones, we need you. Okay, transfer requests. No transfer requests. On to the recruiting. The recruiting will not be uh, very difficult at all. We only have like two guys that haven't committed yet. See how much quicker this is without autosave, guys? Just got to remember to turn it back on. So I'm going to do... Honestly, the punter is who I would be more bummed if we lost, but... Should we just split it right down the middle? 5,000, 5,000? I think we'll be fine if we do that. I'll go 6,000, 4,000. Eh. Pitt won't spend all that on a punter, will they? We'll go like that. Shadow Gamer, my only rules for recruiting is that I can only add one player mid-season that's that's not getting heavily recruited and if my prestige goes up I'm allowed to add another player getting to the end here guys position changes So Steve Nash, the new QB of the future. Sorry, Robert Link. Some new and some of these these guys' names are gonna change to become the names of our patrons. But long live Steve Nash, legendary name for a recruit. We get these receivers in here. 96 speed. Not a ton of O line commits here, but I think I do want to slide him over to left guard. Or right guard. Might as well slide one of these guys over. I do not believe there is a good NFL comp for Pitts. I think he is a truly unique player. I don't have a my my comp on my draft board for him is Kevin Durant. So that's that's tells you what I think about uh, using a comp. Bless you, TFGF. Bless you. <laughs> I don't know if you guys could hear that. <laughs> she says thank you. All right, not a whole lot of position changes. Oh, my God, Rory Ingram. Literally just there so we can get Michigan as a pipeline. Jeez, our punter's an athlete. And then Lance McCoy. So he is best at receiver. Doesn't really have defensive skills. 
So yeah, he's going to be a receiver. Look at that recruiting. He's going to turn into a patron. This receiving group's going to be good next year. Just breathed in a bunch of sand from the shoes you were washing for me. That's why you were sneezing. Oh my gosh. You make it <laughs> you make it sound like I like mistreat you with that comment. <laughs> <laughs> but that is hilarious. Oh man, Talia only went up three overall. But Nick Cross, jeez. Just a little peek at the roster here. Rakeem Jarrett went up in speed again, up to 93 speed. This is the year. O-line. Little, little young on the right side. Some D senior DNs again. That D line is going to be a primary focus again. I probably could have moved. That's all right. But John Laduca, he's going to start in the slot. He's our third best corner. I swear it's not because he's, I swear it's not because he's white. It's because he's our third corner. I would never, I would never cast type a corner into the slot if he was a white corner. So we just got to do cuts. Only five cuts to make, not too bad. We got that Ohio Pipeline set up. I think... <coughs> Probably don't need all these receivers. I don't think Travis Cuttington, Covington is... Ever gonna... Although he's 6'5". Maybe Dan Smith is who we should let go instead. Or maybe we can keep all of them. Let's we'll see. Make Laduca a captain. I don't think you can set captains like that, unfortunately. All right, we got the Ohio pipeline, so I'm gonna let Josh Hampton go. He's never gonna make the team. Um, this dude's kind of trash. We're a far away from having Virginia as a pipeline, so. Don't think he's going to make it. So we do have to make some tough cuts. We do have two punters. I mean, our our starting punter is good, but we just got a freaking 83 freshman. I don't really want to use two roster spots on punters. So I'm going to let him... I'm gonna let him go. It hurts, but. And then Ricky Sapp with 55 speed is gonna have to go. And then I think I'll let Dan Smith from New Jersey go. Yes, chat, auto save, I got gotcha. you. Thanks for the follow, JL Murra. We don't have anything to do with custom conferences. We can go ahead and I will turn autosave back on and I will advance to the preseason, but I will do that off of stream. That's gonna do it. Great stream, we hit about two hours. Really fun night, great second season. We're climbing up and up. We got our quarterback of the future too, which was a huge stepping stone. One lucky patron is going to become that quarterback. Randomly. And uh, that's going to do it. Thank you, everyone, for watching. And we'll see you for the next stream. Make sure you follow at TFG Plays on Twitter so that you keep...
can get the stream time announcements and stuff. Find out when the next stream is going to be. And we'll see you then. Peace. You can catch the series on TFG Plays, where every moment of the live stream gets uploaded as well. Although it's edited to be condensed. So some of the moments with all of the garbage time might not make it. But you get the point. See you guys.